All right, I wanna talk a little bit about what happens when you stop strength training in season. Throughout the off season and into the preseason, you've built yourself up to be the best version of yourself you've been probably at this point in your entire life, the fastest, strongest, most powerful, best athlete you've been. And here's your last training session when your first week of game starts and your schedule gets crazy and you don't know how to manage it. Lack of sleep, lack of good nutrition, not training anymore, you go on the decline. Sport alone is not enough of a strength stimulus to keep all the adaptations that you've worked and worked so hard to put on. Combat this, you want to continue training in season. This should be short and quick, about 30 minutes per workout, and it should be just enough of a stimulus to keep you where you're at without tipping you over the edge into big bouts of soreness like you've had during the off season, especially if you stay consistent with it. The whole point of doing organized strength and conditioning training like you do here at OGX, or by the time you get to be a college athlete, is to have you physically prepared and ready to play your sport at the highest level that you can. If I'm a good strength coach, I'm not gonna program things for you that push you over the edge into soreness because the whole point is for you to be able to play the next day to your, the best of your ability. So right now, at, we're at the end of our season, you haven't had a strength training session since either February or March. You're in your worst physical shape. You feel the worst you felt all year. You start to have these nagging injuries that are holding you back from performing to your best, all when the games are the most important that they could be. Don't let yourself get to this point in the worst physical shape you've been in since the off season ended.